Hi, everybody. It's Becca. Welcome back. It is October. We skipped last week, but I hope you enjoyed the good music videos. And now you can always go back to them and you could learn some of the dances. I am so excited. I love dancing. And I, I also love camping, which gives me an idea. Today, we're going to make a campfire. So I have all my favorite campfire colors. And Jasmine, can you hook us up with some cool campfire noises? Nice. Now, I love camping, and I love sitting around a campfire at night. So everyone, draw your perfect campfire. I love drawing fire. I think it's just really pretty to look at. And one of the things I love the most about being around the campfire is talking and telling stories with my friends and remembering things that we've done before together. And sometimes I tell stories with my kid and with my husband as well, though I also consider him my friend. And there is sometimes a logbook people use when they get to cool campsites that have been traveled and used by a lot of people. And in these really cool logbooks, one thing that you can find is people's stories of how they've gotten there, of maybe something that made their trip interesting, like a big snowstorm. I remember once Chris and I were camping and it snowed on our tent and we weren't ready for it to be super cold at night. So all night I was shivering because it has to be below 32 degrees to snow, but my sleeping bag is only good till 40 degrees. And I will always remember that story of when we went camping together and I was so cool the whole night. Sometimes these stories help us feel part of something, part of something bigger. And that's a lot of what the Bible is doing. It's telling us the stories of people who have come and done the things before we've done them and been through them before we've done them so that we can feel connected to part of a larger story. Because the Bible reminds us we're part of a bigger story than just our own. We're part of God's story because God has a plan for us, just like God had a plan for everyone in the Bible. So as you're drawing your fire, I'd like you to think, has there been a time where you really felt connected? Like you were part of a larger story than your own? Sometimes I feel connected and like I'm part of a larger story than my own. When I am doing these videos, because I don't always like hear from the kids who are watching the videos. But then every once in a while, I'll tell, I'll see a kid and they'll recognize me and they're like, hey, you're the lady from the stories that I see on YouTube. You're the church video lady. And I'll just laugh because it's so great to feel connected. That there are people who are doing things that I'm doing. That there are people who are experiencing things that I'm experiencing. And it's really cool to know that there are people not only just in our community, but all over the world who are trying their best to help a growing number of people love God, love others, and change the world, which is what we do at River Heights Vineyard. We hear a lot about that at youth group and in adult services when we talk about helping a growing number of people love God, love people, and change the world. And I think it's really cool that we are connected to something, a big family that's just so much bigger than we are on our own because we are stepping into God's plan for us. We get to be part of the camping log book. We get to be part of God's big story because God does have a plan for us. He has a plan for our lives. He has a plan for our future. And that can help us have grit. Grit is our word of the month for October. Grit means refusing to give up when things get hard. I didn't refuse to keep camping when it got under 32 degrees. I didn't refuse to stay at the campsite and go to a hotel where I could be safe and warm and maybe watch a Pixar movie. I didn't refuse and give up when things got hard. And I became part of a really cool story. And God can help us have grit in our lives 
when we remember that we're part of a bigger plan. So you can hold on because there's a bigger plan. Enjoy drawing fire. I'm gonna look at somebody's green nose. <gasps> oh, I love it. Have a great day.